Hello and welcome to SAP Expert. Today in this video I am going to show you how to install and set up Obtain Content Locker for Wallface. And basically this is a plugin that you can use to lock a specific content on your website. So if you have a valuable content on your website like a text, a code, image or a video or anything that you want to lock behind an email wall you can do it easily by using this plugin. And let me show you a quick demo of this. This is the demo of this plugin as you can see if I write my name and email here and I click this button this will unlock the content behind this wall let me try this if I write an email a name and an email this is just for testing I tried unlock content you can see this is also required so I'll have to check this and then we'll click this you can see that I unlocked the video so basically there was a video behind that wall now I can view this video so this is the method that you can use for collecting emails and then you can do email marketing and so on so let's see how we can set up this plugin and how this plugin works. So the first thing is you can just follow the link in the description which will take you to this page. Here you can see the plugin and its price. And you can learn more about this plugin and its features. And uh, you can just add this to cart and then buy it. And once you buy this plugin, you will get a file like this. This is the plugin and this is its purchase code. And now we just need to upload this to our Wordface. So let's go to our Wordface dashboard. And then we will go to plugins, add new. We'll upload plugin and we'll choose that file. We'll click open, install now and then we'll activate plugin. And once you activate the plugin, you will see a new tab here, obtain blocker. Just go to its settings and here you can do all the settings for this plugin. The first thing is you can scroll down all the way to the bottom and here you will have to write the purchase code and click save settings. So to get the purchase code, you can just log into your Inveto account and go to download page where you can access your purchase code. And that will be a file like this, a text file or a PDF. Let's open this and we need this purchase code. So we will just copy this and we'll paste it here. We'll save settings. Now settings successfully saved. So that's it. This is how you can activate the plugin. Now let's move up and you can see soft mode so if you enable the soft mode this will show a blur area behind the email wall i'll show you how this works and this is the intro complete your name and email to read the content so basically here you can change this content that you want to display over there and here you can write the name field and so on but for now let's keep all these as it is and let's try this out so to try this you can just go to this link and you can use these short codes so let's copy these and now we can try this on any page or a post. So let's go to our posts and we will edit a page or a post. So in this example I'm using this post. And scroll down and let's say I want to lock this content. So for that I'll put a short code here and also below this. So to put a short code you can just click on the plus icon and then select short code. If you don't see over here you can search for short code and then paste that short code now this is the starting one and you can just grab this cut this scroll down and uh, add another short code and use its closing tag and that's it now you can click on publish in this case this is schedule and now let's view the post let's scroll down and you can see here enter your name your email and then unlock content so if you want to customize these things, you can just go back to the setting of this plugin. Now you can see complete your name and email to read the content. So you can change this content over here. And I'll write something like, something like this. And enter your name, enter your email. So I'll change this to your name, your email. And if you want, you can disable the name field if you don't want to use this. So this will only display email here. And now let's scroll down. Here you can extend the email validation. So if you click this, then this will check the email if it is valid or not. Then you can change the subscribe button text, which is this one, unlock content, which is fine and you can see i agree to terms and conditions and basically this is this text now this is not linked anywhere but we can link this to our terms page so for that you can just remove this let's remove this 
and we will use the normal HTML. I link this to terms page. You can write your own terms page URL and let's call this terms and conditions. And then we'll close this A tag and that's it. And you can also write your terms and conditions here. So if you don't want to use a page, you can write you can write that over here. And this is redirecting message. So thank you. You are redirecting. This is just a message, so you can change this also. And here you can change the design settings. So you can change the background color, the border color, font color, font size, and so on. So I'm not going in which details. These options are dependent on you that how you want this field to look like. For now, let's only change the button color to match this website. So let's pick this color. I'll pick this and we'll go to its settings and we'll change the button color. And this is the button font color, so white is fine. And button font size, which is 15. Let's scroll down and save changes. And now if I refresh this, you can see that we have changed the button color and now this is linked to our terms and condition page and we also change this now we can try this out so test i agree and unlock content and now i can see what was behind the wall so this is how this plugin works now there are the settings for the emails also if you go to mailing here you can Desire the sender name, the sender email, and you can also send a welcome message to anyone who subscribed there. So thank you for subscription. You can change the text here, you can change the email content, and so on. And this is the admin notification. So if you want to receive email if someone fill up this form, you can enable this and you can change the content also. Then you can go to integration and you can integrate this with MailChimp, with eye contact, get response and all these so if you want to save these entries somewhere in your mailing list like MailChimp or iContact you can use this by enabling this and by using the API keys again you can just follow the link in the description which will take you to this page then install this plugin and you can do the settings for this then use a short code and everything that comes between this short code will be locked so I hope the video will help you and uh, for more you can visit my channel i have lots of videos about wolfish elementor and web development and still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next <music>